So you might be trying to figure out how you can turn off the Samsung drag to unlock screen, drag lock icon to unlock little error that comes up on your phone every once in a while. It could look something like this, or it could look something like this, or whatever other ones people have posted to. It's a very annoying thing, and there's one way to turn it off. I think it's changed recently because the instructions online that people used to post are different now. But the way to do this is, first of all, you want to make your way over to your game launcher application or game boost or whatever it is. So you want to go ahead and make your way over to your app icon here, and you want to go find the game launcher icon. So click on game launcher. You can also search for it up here, and you'll come into this panel. Now, some people mentioned that if you like to remove the application here, then it'll work. That actually did not end up working for me. What I had to do is then click on the three lines down here until you get into more options here. And then what you want to do is you want to find Game Booster. So click on the Game Booster icon that's right there, and it'll go and take you into the Game Booster app icon settings. I don't know why I keep saying app icon. Take it to the Game Booster settings. Now what you want to do here, there's a few things, but the second option down here, the third if you're counting this one, is it says Auto Touch Protection. This is exactly what you want to go ahead and kind of adjust. So what you want to do is you want to click Auto Touch Protection, and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and set that basically to never. If you set that to you know 15 seconds or one minute or two minutes, basically if you're inside of that game, it's going to go ahead and just enable it and it's just going to keep showing you that drag icon thing. So go ahead and click never. And what you want to do here is you can go and click back and you might just want to go ahead and remove that application from your anyway if you don't even care about it. So hold down that game just like this, whatever game you're trying to go and do. You can go and click remove if you want to and kind of go from there. But at that point, you should be able to go and load up that game or whatever other thing you're looking at. And that could end up fixing the problem too. And I think for a lot of people, that's probably all you're going to have to do. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More important than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Sullivan.